packed house here at the Kibbe Dome for Dad's Weekend. The Idaho Vandals lose a tough one to Georgia Southern, 44 to 20. On Dad's Weekend at the Kibbe Dome, the Idaho Vandals didn't open up their Sun Belt Conference the way they wanted to against Georgia Southern. The Eagles held Idaho to one of 11 on third downs through the first 54 minutes of the contest. And they also forced two turnovers and blocked a punt. At halftime, Georgia Southern was clinging to just a three-point lead and then scored three of their first two possessions of the second half to open up a 30-13 cushion. There was definitely times in the game I thought our defense played way better. You know, we just we gave up a couple of those big plays, but there were definite times where I thought they played better. You know, there was times where I thought our offense, you know, for a half we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best team in the league. Nobody's beaten them and in two years now. So for a half we were there, and now we got to get it where we can do it for the whole game. we got to go to the second half, how we came – came through for, for the first half. In the third quarter, the Vandals tried to keep it close as Desmond Epps beat double coverage and hauled in a 44-yard touchdown pass from Matt Linehan to cut the lead to just 10. But with all the big plays for Southern, the Vandals were often held to short yardage situations. Idaho was just one of three on fourth down conversions and just two of 12 on third down conversions. We killed ourselves on short yardage offensively. You know, and I don't think we punted once in the second half. Had a couple of turnovers and tried to fake one punt and got stopped on short yardage. I thought the momentum would have uh, switched to our side, but it really didn't. So cause we didn't make enough plays after that big catch. So, um, you know, after, after we didn't get enough momentum and we didn't uh, take advantage of Des uh, scoring on the big play. The Vandals say a cause for the big plays given to the Eagles goes back to the basics of football, tackling. It's, it's either a missed tackle usually or a... You know, missed assignment or once in a while in, in some of the games just been, you know, however you want to put it, it's a missed tackle or the guy just beats us. Idaho ran the ball 33 times and finished the game with 111 yards on the ground, but were unable to find the end zone. The team only had one player over 80 yards, something senior back Elijah Penny says that needs to be corrected. Like I said, go to, to the film room on Sunday, watch film and, uh, just to see what we got to uh, get better at as far as running backs and old linemen and quarterbacks. We all have to get better. The reported dad's weekend crowd was 14,441, which Coach Petrino says sparked his team to stay hungry, even though the Vandals came up short. Gosh, all the way into the, when we cut it to 10 points in that third quarter, I thought we're going to, we're going to steal this thing. You know, I really did. I felt great. I thought, I thought it was going good. The whole first half, I felt good. Definitely going into halftime felt good, you know, and then it just, you know, then it got away from us. With the loss to Georgia Southern, the Idaho Vandals will now travel to Jonesboro, Arkansas to take on Arkansas State. Reporting at the Kibbe Dome, Dan Hawk, Idaho on your side.